Now the other part of lab 10 is going to be trying to figure out how much, uh, well so we've got this problem where you've got H2O2 and it's being titrated with KMNO4. Um, we're going to assume that we, uh, we have 2.5 percent H2O2 by mass and I'll talk about what that means in a second. Um, so we are trying to figure out what volume of KMNO4 is required to titrate 5 milliliters of the H2O2. So we're going to go ahead and assume that H2O2 has a density of one gram per milliliter. And let's go over to our drawing board. So first of all, we're going to be given this reaction uh, to, well, I'll draw this in green, uh, black, I mean. OK, so we've got 2 MnO4 2 minus, or 1 minus. Um, and this equ this equation will be given. You won't be expected to know what this equation is. Um, plus 5H2O2, though you might have to balance the equation. Gives us oxygen gas and 2Mn2+. Um, so, assuming that this is our reaction, let's go ahead and figure out what we need and what we have. So we've got five milliliters of, of uh, H2O2. So we start off with that. And we always want to work in moles because moles make sense because it's the number of molecules that we're actually going to be using. So um, we're going to go ahead and assume that this has a molar mass of one gram per milliliter as is given in the problem. So we are going to say we're going to want milliliters on bottom so that they cancel out and we're going to want one gram on top. So one gram of uh, H2O2 equals one milliliter and that just simply gives us a cancellation of milliliters for five grams of H2O2. Now this we can then go ahead and convert Oh, why is that not loading? There we go. Okay, we can then go ahead and convert this into uh, a uh, molar, uh, the quantity of moles, because we know that we can go to our periodic table and look up what each one of these weighs. So oxygen is 16 grams per mole, and hydrogen is 1 gram, so together there's 34 grams per mole. So we go down here, we got 5 grams of H2O2, that's just going to be over 1, or you don't have to write it. Um, so we want to then multiply by 34 grams. So we want grams on bottom so that they can cancel out. 34 grams per mole. And that way, the grams cancel out, and we are left with moles. So we cancel out these grams. And this will give us how many moles of our potassium, or our, our uh, high, uh, H2O2 we have. So 0 0.125 grams, wait, no, that's not right. Five grams divided by 34. Um, So this will give us how many moles we will have, or how many grams, yeah, how many moles we will have in a uh, five grams of, or five milliliters of a pure solution. But we don't have a pure solution, so we actually have a 5% or 2.5% by weight um, substance. So once we find what a pure solution would be, which would be 0 0.147 moles, we know that that would be for the whole five milliliters, but we don't have a whole five milliliters. We only have a 2.5% by mass, so that means that we can go ahead and multiply this by 2.5 um, grams over 100 grams. So that's essentially 2.5%, and that will give us our actual quantity of moles, 0 0.00367 moles of H2O2 is what we have in our solution. Now, this is an important step, knowing how to convert the uh, percent by mass. But you can essentially just multiply by 2.5%. Um, 
because that will give you your uh, mass percent. Okay, so we've got this 0 0.00367. Let's go ahead and clear this up. And that's moles of H2O2. So now, but we don't want to be working in moles of H2O2. We want to be working in moles of, uh, well, how much MnO4 we're going to need for this titration. So we then go ahead and multiply by the molar ratio. So we have to look at our equation. And if you remember back, our equation looks kind of like this. 2 MnO4 plus... 5 H2O2 going to your products. So we are only interested in H2O2 and MnO4 because we want to know how much we will need to titrate this. So for every 5 moles of H2O2 we will need 2 moles of MnO4. So that is your ratio, and that allows these units to cancel out. So now we're in moles of MnO4. Um, and then the last step is going to be converting from, uh, because we know that we, this is in moles now, so we want our question, if we go back to our question, our question is asking us for the volume that is required to titrate, 5 milliliters of H2O2. So we are given a, uh, or we should be given a concentration somewhere. Oh, looks like I forgot to put that in the question. Um, so we have KMnO4 is going to be at a concentration of 0 0.4, 0 0.045 molar. Okay, so now we have a concentration, so now we can go ahead and finish this problem. So KMnO4 is at 0.045 molar, which means that if we go back to our problem, we can then go ahead and multiply by 0.045 moles per liter. And this, if we go ahead and multiply this out, this will give us our liters of KMnO4 that we require. And so that should come out to be 0 0.0327 liters of KMnO4. All right, and that is how you do that problem. And that's all that you need to know for lab 10. All right, let's go on to lab 11.